Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on how to, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to get early access to the new Windows 24H2 update, or potentially if your PC is just running a little bit weird and you want to refresh the system files, there's a really easy way of doing it. You don't even need a USB drive, you can do it directly from your computer using the Windows 11 Upgrade Assistant tool. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so here we are on the Windows 11 installation assistant. Links to this will be in the video description, but it's uh, pretty straightforward to get hold of. So there's a couple of options you can do to upgrade to the latest version. And also, like I said previously, this will also help you if you're having problems with your Windows operating system. Maybe you've got some wonky system files. This will also help to repair those during the installation process. Don't worry about losing any data or information. All that will remain. Uh, the only thing you may change is, especially with version 24H2, you may lose the WordPad option. So the program WordPad, that has actually been depreciated in version 24H2. Not that many people use it. There's always Notepad or you can use Word. Anyway, so this is the installation assistant. There is a section here. If you click on this, it will show you other things to make sure. Make sure you've got a Windows 10 or 11 license. Obviously, if you haven't already, you can pick one up from premiumcdkeys.com forward slash mics unboxing and you can get a spectacular price. Uh, and also a discount with the discount code mics unboxing. Sorry, a little plug there. So you must have Windows 10 version 2004 or higher to run the installation system. And you must have nine gigabytes of free disk space. So that is uh, pretty much it for there. So when you're ready, click on download now and save the installation system to the desktop or somewhere it's easy to access. It's only a small file, so we can minimize this now. And then we can run installation assistant. You'll get the user account control come up. So you just have to click on yes to allow that. And then it says to use the PC health check app to check compatibility. Unfortunately, you have to do this, so no choice whatsoever. So you have to click on get PC health check app. Again, save it to the desktop. Nice and easy to do. Minimize the window, and then you can find the program, which should be here. The health check. So just run that and accept the terms of the license agreement and click on install. This shouldn't take too long. And at the end, you'll have the option already ticked there to open the Windows PC health check. So click on finish. And then you've got your PC help at a glance. So you could click on this to check now. It says this PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. So that's great news. So you can close that if you want. So you can see all results. It'll tell you that TPM is enabled, secure boot, processor, memory available, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, that's excellent. So we can close that. And now we can close this window. And if we go back to refresh. Now it gives you the option to install Windows 11. So this is going to install a new version. And what you have to do is click on Accept and Install. And now it's going to do all the hard work for you. So this isn't actually going to change any of your files, as in your documents, etc. So don't worry about that. It isn't going to give you a completely fresh installation of Windows without any documents or files or settings or drivers. This is purely going to update the operating system itself to the latest version. And also, like I said, very handy for repairing some of those damaged system files should you have them. So this is probably a good time to put the kettle on, have yourself a cup of tea, coffee, or a beverage of choice, and just be patient, and we'll come back when there's something else to interact with. So now the download is finished, so now it's going to verify the download. Being this shouldn't take very long, although depending upon the speed of your computer, it may take a bit longer than it is on here. So now we've got to step three of three, uh, installing. So as it says there, it's okay to keep on using your PC, but we'll restart your PC 30 minutes after we reach 100% on the screen. So make sure you save your work frequently. Now my personal recommendation would be to close any open applications. If you've got anything like third-party antivirus software, potentially turn that off. And if there's any kind of weird USB devices you've got installed, maybe disconnect those just to make it as simple as possible. Realistically, for this to continue, all you need to connect it is your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor, and an internet connection. Other than that, you can pretty much unplug everything else and close down any other software. So with all that said, we'll let this go through and uh, we'll come back again when it's done. So here we are, we come to the end and it says now your PC needs to restart to install Windows 11. Please save your work. 
plug in your PC, um, it probably is anyway, but leave it turned on if it is and leave it connected. Uh, if you choose restart later, it will automatically restart when you're not using your PC, but otherwise it'll wait till the countdown's done. If you're ready, then you can just click on restart now. And I'll say there, you're about to be signed out. Windows 11 Installation Assistant will reboot your device to complete the install. So you can just click on close. If for some reason your PC doesn't want to restart, oh, there it goes. You can actually click on the restart now button, but anyway. So that's going to start doing the restart and it'll do the updates in the background. There'll be a percentage marker. And basically when it's done, you'll be back on your Windows desktop and then you can go in and obviously delete any programs you don't need, such as the installation assistant. You can delete that and uninstall it from your computer. Also as well, probably a good idea if you can, because of this is going to create a windows.old file, which can take up a considerable amount of room on your computer, uh, somewhere in the region of about 15 gigabytes, so potentially even more. So if you want to after, go into Storage Sense, then you can go into Storage Sense, run it, and then you can ask it to remove the windows.old file. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll wait for this to reboot and I'll show you how to do that. It's actually quite a simple thing to do, but definitely worth doing to recover some of that old disk space. So as we see, it's uh, working on updates. Again, this could take a little while, so just be patient and let it do its own thing. It says there your computer may restart a few times, so do be wary of that, but just let it carry on and do its thing. And then when the system is done, it will reboot and ask you for your password to log in, and then you'll get the usual, this may take a few minutes screen, don't turn off your PC. So again, just be patient. Your desktop will be available shortly. Again, you may get the occasional black screen if it's updating your GPU or graphics drivers. And there we go. The system has rebooted and we're back up and running. And we're now on the latest version of Windows 11 and our system files have all been repaired. Something also to bear in mind is if you've got a background, then you will have to change it again in personalization. Windows 11 version 24H2 defaults to using Windows Spotlight for the Windows desktop. So this will update your background on a daily basis. If you don't like that, then obviously change it back to a static or a custom picture. Now, as we said earlier about storage space, now if we go into our folders, go into Explorer, we go into this PC, and we'll see now we have a windows.old file. Now, if you right click on this and check out properties, you'll see that it's uh, a considerable amount of gigabytes that will take up. Now the windows.old folder is designed to be used with system restore. So if for some reason you don't like the update that your computer has just done, you can then undo it by using system restore and taking advantage of the .old file to restore your previous operating system. So in this particular instance, we're taking up almost 40 gigabytes of space, which is a considerable lump of storage. So in order to retrieve that, and if we're happy with our update, we can go into the start flag and we can go into settings, then into system, then into storage, and in storage sense, you'll have to wait for this to uh, do the scan. So it's gonna check for your temporary files, etc. And then we can go into cleanup recommendations. In this section here, you've got the option to remove the previous Windows installations, as you can see, and also downloads. If you've got a bunch of downloads in your downloads folder, you can get rid of those as well. That is entirely up to you. Um, if you've got things you want to keep in your downloads, clearly you can just leave that as it is. But I want to retrieve that amount of space there. So let's click on clean up 24.7 gigabytes and it'll say they'll be permanently deleted. That's fine, so click on continue. This will take a little while. And if you want to, while you're waiting for the cleanup to take place, you can go into personalization and you can choose your background. So as you see, personalize your background, Windows Spotlight's on. So if you want to just uh, change that to a solid color. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So that is your Windows 11 24H2 installed. Also your files verified and also then we've removed the windows.old folder to reclaim some of our hard drive space. So there we go, there is how to install Windows 24H2 or repair your system files on Windows 11 
Also how to remove the temporary files after it's done to reclaim some of that valuable space. And hopefully this has made your PC significantly easier to use and a little bit more responsive potentially. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content on this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of all future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is my unboxing reviews and how to. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.